So we'll be engraving the back of this iPad here and first things first is we need to get measurements because otherwise we don't want the engraving ending up here or something like that. So uh, it doesn't have to be 100% top to bottom because nobody's going to know it's a millimetre up or down but you have your left to right has to be perfect. So on this we're getting 241. So we start over on the laptop here and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a square with a height of 241 millimetres. So that's essentially our iPad there. Then we want to get our measurements from left to right on the iPad. Now, this one we kind of want more accurate, so we'll just use the line above this screen there. So we're getting 181 on that. Uh, no matter what you're measuring or doing, there's always a way around sorry, ensuring that you have a straight line. Uh, even with circles and stuff, you can just draw more circles. There's our iPad. So, the next thing to decide is where do we want our engrave on our iPad. So, this is the job we've done before, so if you cheat a little bit, know where it goes best. And it's going to go 60 down from the top of the iPad here. And the it's going to be 15 tall. So, next thing we need to do is we need to get our actual design that we want to put on the iPad. So, Go back, get all the design here because it is just our logo. And then copy it across. So there's our logo. Make it the correct size. Then we want it. Draw a box. Make sure it's the right size. Match it up with this. Then is to send this to print. So the laser itself has, it's kind of like a printer driver, um, except with a lot more settings. So we need to go in and we need to find the settings we have saved in here for within the group metals and then analyze that menu. So something we've worked before with and sort of found out the settings through trial and error. If this was a run of jobs, we'd probably use a create a jig, but all we need here is a square edge to protect the screen from the bottom of the laser. All the measurements we've done in there and all the measurements up here all lined up. and stuff, we need to focus our laser, all right? So, take the lens we have in here. This, measure, this tool here is measured so that when this touches the iPad, that's us, that's it, focus. So, next part of our job is we need to find a reference point. I'm going to use the top left corner, the easiest to use, 9 jobs out of 10, that's what you're going to use. And then uh, we're pretty much ready to go with that. So, my job's in the print view from where we're not. And I just need to bring it down, back over here. Line up. Check that all your numbers add up, that really makes sense because the last thing I do is. I'm going to slow engrave on something that only needs a quick one. 